Not uh, many children build a giant cross in their backyard and uh, pretend to be Jesus Christ crucified. But uh, this is just one of several interesting facts we learn about the uh, Catholic actor Jonathan Rumi in his uh, recently released docu-series Jonathan and Jesus. The new show, released uh, January 4 and streaming on Amazon Prime, just in America for now, but don't worry guys, it will slowly but surely be spread all over Amazon platforms all over the world. So as I said, this show released on January 4 follows uh, Rumi as he explores the impact Jesus Christ had on the world uh, throughout history and how the great weight of playing the Son of God has impacted Rumi himself. The four episode docu-series takes viewers around the world visiting iconic sites in Rome, Paris and more while uh, notable names such as Brandon Flowers, Alice Cooper, Matt Frad, Francis Chan and Sheila Yi also share their stories of the role Jesus plays in their lives. The idea for the docu-series came after Rumi was invited to meet uh, Pope Francis in August 2021. The Catholic actor invited the director of The Chosen, Dallas Jenkins, an evangelical Christian, to attend with him. The producers of the show wanted to capture the encounter on video and soon after they had the idea to create a series bringing together the stories of different individuals whose lives had been impacted by Jesus as well as capture what it is like for Rumi to portray Jesus and the impact it has had on his life. I thought it was a wild idea. I had never seen anything like it before. So I prayed about it, Rumi told CNA in an interview. I thought, well, maybe this is something that God wants me to do and somehow it can ultimately serve to inspire someone by hearing my stories of surrender and what God's done in my life since uh, more deeply surrendering to Him and the success that I've had as a result of that commitment to Christ. Yeah, in the docu-series, Rumi calls himself the new kid on the block. He discusses the impact it has had on him, going from essentially no one knowing him to having a loving fans around the world in a matter of a couple of years. He shared that he never wanted to be in front of the camera, which is why he went into voice over work, but God had a different plan. It's taken time for me to come to terms with it, he said. But I think uh, it's happened at a point in my life where God's timing is perfect timing. It didn't happen any earlier and uh, it didn't happen any later. It happened when it was supposed to happen. Rumi admitted that he's still trying to navigate the comfort level of being recognized, adding uh, that it's been extraordinary and any kind of discomfort that I derive from the process, my instinct is to just turn it over and just give it up and offer it up for God. At the end of the day, whether it's the docu-series or the chosen or anything else that I do, if people are affected by it in some way or moved by it or inspired by it, that's the goal, to bring light to people's lives, Rumi said and uh, to bring Jesus into the culture in a meaningful way to affect change, to affect interior change, to affect outward change, cultural change. And um, this is just a part of the equation. American rock singer Alice Cooper makes an appearance in the docu-series and shares with Rumi the impact that uh, welcoming Jesus into his life has had on him personally and uh, on his career. He admits that he was told that his career would fail if he came out publicly as a Christian. However, his career has flourished since then. When asked if Rumi has experienced something similar, he told uh, CNA that he has also been told to downplay his faith. I've had people say like, uh, you might want to downplay your faith a little bit, 
because it's not really a thing that's going to win you over to people in uh, casting films and TV shows it all CNA I think uh, in Hollywood especially people are kind of nervous about talking about their faith in a business setting or me said I never was I'm happy to talk about it to anyone who wants to talk about it but uh, getting that kind of advice was a little strange and disappointing but I also wasn't surprised because that's what I heard about he explained I think the fact that I've surrendered any notion of what kind of control I have over my career and I just say Lord you tell me where you want me to go and if someone wants to cast me on something beyond uh, Jesus when the chosen is over great if not great it doesn't matter to me I mean it does I would love to work of course but I trust God in everything he does is going to show me where he wants me to be and the roles he wants me to play and hopefully there'll be some interesting stuff outside of that kind of box but uh, whatever he does whatever he wants for me that's good enough for me in the last episode of the, of the series the major theme is surrendering oneself to God's plan for your life Rumi has been vocal about the moment in his life when uh, he completely surrendered his life and career to God. One day, at his lowest point, having 20 bonds, 20 dollars in his pocket, and only having enough food for the day, he got on his knees and surrendered all his struggles to God. Later that day, he received several unexpected checks in the mail that covered his bills. A couple of months later, he was contacted about playing Jesus in The Chosen. Rumi hopes that the viewers of the docu-series will be inspired to surrender whatever it is they might be struggling with in their own lives that uh, are keeping them back. I got to this point because I had to let go of the reins. I had to let go of control and as a result, God changed my life irrevocably, he said. I think uh, there are a lot of people that are afraid to surrender. They are afraid to give things over to God, whether it's their personal life, their health, their finances, their career, and the way it works. I found uh, with him is uh, that when you completely rely on him, on God, he takes care of you because that's what he's promised to do.